So now I've uh, smoothed this seam uh, pretty much all the way around. I'm also using a rib, a uh, little flexible uh, uh, plastic or silicone rib. This is a, a Cheryl Mud Tool, uh, mudtools.com. It's one of my favorite uh, ribs. We don't have a lot of them in the studio, uh, but it's a nice one to use because uh, it allows me to smooth this surface. And there's different sizes, different thicknesses, different shapes of them. Let's see. I'm going to flip it over so I can make sure I'm looking at the bottom of the piece. It's a good idea while you're working, get at all angles. Look at the piece from straight on. Uh, look at the piece from all sides, from above, from below to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Uh, now I want to attach the handle. I've got several handles I pulled uh, the other day. And I've also got several pieces that I'm going to attach these to. So I'm going to take the largest handle um, and plan on attaching it here. Now, first thing I want to do on a teapot is I don't want to end up with attaching my handle, uh, say, way over here and crooked. So first thing I'm going to do is try to measure um, and get a sense of where I need to attach this piece so it's going to be attaching straight. So I've tried to measure and, and judge that there. Now I also want to get a sense of what part of this handle I'm going to use. My handle is still a little bit on the wet side. I, I pulled it uh, after I pulled the, or after I threw the pot. Um, and so it's still just a little bit sticky. But I'm going to cut this edge off um, right about here so that it'll attach, come around, and attach down there. I'm going to use, after I've cut it, I'm going to measure that edge. And I've forgotten a knife. All right, I've got a knife, and I'm ready to cut this edge here. I'm going to set it down on the table um, so I can try to get a straight cut there. And you see I've somewhat managed to do that. Uh, I can use it in my hands uh, to refine that cut. Um, and now I'm able to measure here. So I'm actually going to take this to the edge of the table over here um, because I've got it hanging over. Uh, one of the things I often takes me a couple tries at is, is thinking about that angle correctly. And uh, I've, I cut this more at a straight angle. I need it to come back a little bit more. And because my handle's still soft, I'm going to be able to get away with uh, bringing it around a little bit more like that and then I also cut off the bottom edge here um, so that it matches what I think the angle is going to be. And I'm attaching this piece up at the top and that piece down below. I want to get my eyes back so I make sure that this is straight and then I can get that marked uh, right there. Right. So I'm going to score and slip these edges here um, and then that should be my attachment. I actually am going to add the slip to the pot because the pot is drier. Just try to get it to absorb a little bit of uh, more of that slip, more of that wetness. And then I'm going to try to do this with my arm out of the way. I'm going to take and push this clay onto the pot and then wrap it around and push it down below here. And some people like to get in there and uh, compress this here. Now I've, I've obviously uh, misjudged and put it over my stamp here, but um, I'll just have to redo the stamp. Um, and you can uh, push that into there. You can just leave that seam visible. As long as my attachment is strong, I should be fine. Or I can get in here with um, a rubber tip with my finger if it'll fit, um, with a rib if it'll fit, and try to smooth that seam away. Those choices are up to you. Some people like to add a, a small, uh, a thin coil all the way around that edge. Some people like to just smooth it in. Some people like to actually have that seam be very visible. Um, since you are attaching something to the clay, you, it doesn't need to look like it wasn't attached. I'm going to bring this around upside down uh, and make sure I'm getting a look at all angles of the clay here. Uh, I want this this transition down here to be nice and smooth and I need to somehow get my eyes under here so I can see this uh, this seam uh, under here. Now on this one it's a pretty smooth transition so there's not a lot of work I have to do. Sometimes you've got a little gap there that you need to fill in with a coil of clay. And then I also want to get my eyes under here to check that out. When I set this to dry, um, or when I'm done with this, I've got my lid um, that goes in here. Um, when I set this to dry, I'm going to keep it covered in plastic um, so that it doesn't dry out too quickly and cause cracks between the wetter.